Uh, if the shading goes all the way from the left of the number line to the right of the number line, if everything is shaded, uh, then yes, it's going to go to infinity. And you usually get that when there's a union that overlaps going opposite directions. But the question wasn't asking that. The question was asking, what is the interval notation for that? So that's the special language. Uh, interval notation, <clears throat> remember, is when we do double parentheses if there's no equal to or when there's an infinity, double brackets if they are both equal to. Uh, sometimes you can have a number not include or a number included and then the other endpoint is a number not included or the other way around. Uh, in the first spot here, we put the beginning. If we read our number line from left to right, we put the beginning, the leftmost number. And here we put the ending, the rightmost number. So I am going to create a number line uh, and an example and come back to you. All right, so we have a number line and an example. If we were to graph the first thing there, we have x greater than or equal to 1. So we would start at 1. And because of the, the equal to part, we would use a bracket that shows that the number is included in the answer. Because x is solved on the left of this symbol, this arrow is actually pointing the direction we shade only when x is on the left. And look at x is less than 5. So I go to the 5, and there is no equal to. That means 5 is not part of the answer, but the number right next to 5 is. In that case, I use a parenthesis, and the arrow is pointing to the left. I shade to the left. That's only true if when we solved, we solved so x is on the left of your inequality sign. So because this is an or, we're allowed to include uh, any number that's shaded by one of my two colors. So my final answer would be all the way to negative infinity because of the red. And then when I hit one, I'm doing red and blue. And then all the way to positive infinity because of the blue. And that is what you were talking about here. However, this is not interval notation. Interval notation is when we do this over here. So we need to know that any time our beginning number is an infinity, we uh, use a parenthesis because infinity is not a number. It's an idea that there's always another number. So from left to right, we have negative infinity. And then our last number is positive infinity. Again, because it's infinity, it's a parenthesis. Now, you didn't necessarily know how to use the symbol for infinity. That is why the instruction said you can say negative uh, infinity. But you needed to show the comma, the parenthesis, and then positive infinity. I hope that clears things up. Let me know if you have any questions.